Hi there, this is Uber. Um, so this is day four of the Skilled event. I am pushing T5 maps now. T4, T5 maps. Um, so interestingly, uh, I've actually started to do a minor build uh, for the Wrath Pith and the damage is seems pretty decent. I won't say it's like good, but it's decent for T4, T5. Uh, and and the reason being is because I'm using Icicle Mine, which is level 21, just because of uh, March of the Legion boots. Um, this is plus 5 Aura Gems, and Icicle Mine is an Aura Gem. Uh, inspiration Support, Mind Field, and Charge Mines for like quality of life. Um, and then Heat Shiver, obviously, because of the high amount of crit coming from Wrath Pith. And uh, from Passives, I probably have about 50% chance of crit at this point. Uh, and... Uh, that chance is significant enough, uh, enough for me that I wanna like uh, that I can like use heat uh damage multipliers. I'm gonna kind of show you what it looks like. Uh, just a bit of a uh, yeah, rough update. I managed to hack. I won't say haggle, but there was a guy, probably a number one DPS right now in uh, ruthless gold event. I was like, a, he's at 600k DPS bone shatter jug. I think he did his first, uh, I think it's Eater. Was it Eater? I think this is, no, no, it's Exarch. So he did his first Exarch and he dropped uh, the solution out of flesh. Um, he put it up for like one elk, and then when I pinged him for it, he was like, oh, I didn't mean to put this up. So, uh, felt real bad because that's kind of the thing that allows me to run my build. Uh, and I don't think I'll see one for some time. So I kind of convinced him afterwards. I think that maybe about maybe an hour or two afterwards, uh, I said, "Look, uh, this item on normal ruthless is like four or five outs, and no one really wants it, even though it's uh, hard to drop." The reason being is because not many builds utilize this. The only builds that utilize uh, this is flesh are uh, our Wrathfed gloves or uh, Wrathfed builds or Void Forge builds. And obviously, no one's gonna find a Void Forge. I think no one has actually found a Void Forge yet in uh, Normal Ruthless. Uh, and I'm pretty sure no one's gonna ever find it in Ruthless Gold. Uh, Wrath Pit, uh, there's only one in Normal Ruthless, and, or one or two in Normal Ruthless. And uh, Ruthless Gold, I'm probably the only one who will have a Wrath Pit by the end of the end of this event. So I said, yeah, look. Uh, not many people are gonna want this, uh, so if you wanna willing to let this go, I'll, I'm more than happy to pay uh, a decent amount of elks, somewhat decent amount of elks. So you say they let it off for uh, seven elks, and I said okay. So, yeah, we are. Without this uh, wrath faith, no, without the uh, the solution, I wouldn't actually be able to run this build, because the life cost of the wrath is actually too high for mine. Uh, which is why I was using like fire trap for a long, long time. Ah, yeah. oh, well, yeah, I, I probably I didn't make a video of me using fire trap, but it was really painful. Damage was like non-existent, and uh, uh, yeah, it was to take my word for it. It was really painful. And, like T1 maps were already a struggle. T2 maps were a struggle. Holy shit! Even on the fire trap build, fire trap setup, I couldn't spec for fire uh, for traps because. Uh, or dots because I'm gonna scale mines. So uh, my dad was really gimped when I had that set up. So my objective is just to keep scaling damage to get to a point where I do like maybe 300 or 400 k DPS uh, on Isaacle mine, and then uh, should be able to just push to T15, T16. Um, this build is largely, is pretty much just the same as, uh, what kind of build is it called again? Uh, as a Hex Plus Minor Scion. The difference is I'm using Isaacle Mine and I'm scaling differently than you would normally scale for Hex Plus. I think there are a lot of components for Hex Plus that won't exist for me in, uh, Rufus Gold, so I'm not gonna... I'm not going to keep go that way. So yeah, if anything, high school mind seems that it will line up. 
and do a pretty good amount of damage. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, any the one things I don't probably want to go for is the oops, eggs. Not take damage. Uh, things I don't want to go for is a uh, snake pit ring if I can find one. That gives me a chain. That's all there is for the build right now. I do need a better weapon. Maybe I will sub these gloves out. These these aren't actually particularly good. But I need better weapon and better gloves. But right now, uh, my rings are both rares. No, no, not rares. Both, both of them are like... Uh, uh, they're both magic items, but they have a good amount of life and resistances. Probably one gloves with core res or fire res, and then uh, probably a belt with life and core res or fire res. Uh, this glove is, this this weapon is actually garbage. Uh, it's just it's the only way I could get resistance for cold and kept my cold up. Uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully I can get a replacement soon for this. Uh, ideally with like maybe plus one cold gems. Um, but yeah, so the guy I bought the Rathe from, I actually need to pay him back, uh, seven elves, so, uh, need to be a, do a bit of farming, or at least sell some stuff, that's why I had to turn the other guy down. Uh, if I sell a couple of stuff for like one elk each, I might just get seven, I, I own like seven elves by one more, like in a half a day more, so, <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get there. else yeah that's pretty much all there is to it hope you enjoyed this update oh yeah I've got to respec a bit so right now if you see the build uh, I'm parting this way I'm getting uh, I have three grand spectrum jewels I spot I probably bought them for like three elves each on average and so there's nine elves total uh, this basically makes me ailment immune uh, and then uh, I path here for a lot of life nodes I get this one because I can then cap uh, suppression when I path this way later. Later, and then I get life nodes. Uh, probably will unspec these two if I have enough regrets and get this one and this one. Uh, just because the fire res is nice. <clears throat> I got all the mine nodes, uh, all the easy crit nodes. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I will. This is not actually really good. I'm gonna probably unspec these. Uh, unspec this to I might I might not let's just see we'll see how but I'll unspec this one and then path this way get the suppression nodes get the suppression node and the life node and then get the life nodes here and the build should be pretty much done um, anything else it will just be uh, scaling uh, just getting levels on my gems getting a better weapon uh, probably better I am actually pretty okay I mean. Yeah, it's rarity to him. But probably better gloves, better belt. Then, uh, if I can get a calms, this would be a pretty massive upgrade. So I'll have to drop the belly of beast, get a calms, and then uh, sort the rest of my sockets. Uh, uh, I kind of run zealotry as well once I get enough reservation. So I run zealotry, hatred. And, uh, yeah. I will probably need the two reservation nodes here. I need this one and this one over there. Alright, that's all there is to it actually. Not much. <laughs> I'll probably just keep farming, doing maps, and getting levels. Yeah. Alright, peace. See you guys. I'm out.